Mary. 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 Crushed it. Penny, Crushed. Can you just sit? Whoa. She's tippy tappy already. Tippy tappy tippy toes. So what's. You know, Kate, oh. should we share that it's Friday the 13th? We can. I, I mean, we, we did, I guess, just now. <laughs> well, you could edit it out, but... I could. I don't know but if I, you want to. But, like, pretty cool. It doesn't happen a lot. I know. I wish it was a full moon, but I'll get over it. Oh, okay. I love the spoops. Um, I watched Spoopy Goosebumps today. What about you, Bridge? What spoops did you watch I, to celebrate? Part, so a part of me thought, should I go for it? Go for what? I don't know, like a horror film tonight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you going? Goosebumps? <laughs> although, actually, although this morning I had a, I had kind of a road rage incident. Oh, God. Um, so I dropped Kate off at daycare and then I was driving back and I let, I understand the guy behind me being mad at me because, you know, we're moving and grooving on this road and I yeah. let a big, I, I slowed down for a big city bus to come in front of me. That's just being nice. I thought so, but he was very mad. So he was like <laughs> waving, he was waving his hands behind me okay. and then. I don't know what happened to me, but I decided to wave my hands back and I was like, I was losing it. I, I had... Did you I turn had, into Mrs. Voorhees? Kill her, mommy! Kill her! I was, I was crazy. And then, um, as you know this about me, then he pulled next to, like, he went from behind me to the side of the lane, aka going oh. to be next to me. And then I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is when I'm not good, this is when I'm not good. Ah! And so I had, like, two more streets to, like, quickly go down and hide. And luckily, the bus driver's like, I got you, bitch. Floored it. Woo! Somebody on his lane stopped it. And I, like, eh! and I, like, skirted out. And then, like, eh! went down the alley. And I was just like, <laughs> is he going to follow me? And he did it. And then I was like, you know what, Bridget? You're not actually brave enough to start a road rage incident. So you shouldn't you shouldn't actually do that. That's, that's some fast and furious shit, Bridget. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Gotta say, and then, it's giving Thelma and Louise. <laughs> it's giving um, that scene from the Barbie movie. All of it, a plus. But it, it's I know everyone has experienced this, where you have confidence in the moment, and then like your rational brain's like, no, 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 no. You will get shanked in Chicago. You ain't brave enough, girl. Ah, and what are you doing? And I was like, oh no, I need to run. I need to run. <laughs> and then you know that little Mazda, zoom, zoom, boy, boy, I was out of there. Wow, Mazda, you want to give us an ad campaign? We're ready. I don't have a lot going on after <laughs> just telling that story. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I loved it, and um, I'm glad you didn't stab anyone to death at the lake. Sisters, sisters who've seen it. We are the sisters, sisters who've seen it. Sisters, shooby dooby doo what? Sisters, shooby dooby doo what? Sisters, 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 sisters. Sisters who seen it. Hello. Hello there. Welcome back, listeners. Welcome back, you witches. Bitch. I mean, witches. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say witches. Oh, wow. It just came out. I'm sorry, oh. everyone. You're witches with a wuh. Wow. Oh, okay. With a wow and a wuh. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. I'm going to introduce ourselves if you're new here. So, listeners, we are the Sisters Who Seen It, the podcast where two sisters who are not movie critics look back on some of our favorites throughout the years through a psychological, ethical, and familial lens. I'm Katie. I'm Bridget. Uh, bubble, bubble, toil in trouble. <laughs> Bridget, I literally <laughs> thought you were about to go, Boo, like for Pocus Pocus, and I was going to be like, you watched the wrong movie, girl. Oh, uh, but we're good. We're I was good. in between that and I really want that cookie, mommy. Okay. We're going to talk about knockoff Mar Wilson. Don't worry. I'm ready. <laughs> Actually, my favorite line is towards the end of the movie where Marnie goes hey chocolate bar to the bad guy and i was like what the fuck is he chocolate bar? 
<laughs> None of it makes sense. Oh my None God. of this party city bullshit makes sense. Oh my God. Uh, Bridge, what's the movie this week? It is the 1998 Disney TV to film, I guess, movie Halloween yeah. Town. Halloween Town. I think this was a rite of passage for you to make <gasps> me watch this. Yeah, because you'd never seen it, right? Never seen it. And mm. it wasn't terrible. No, it's like, you know, funny for different reasons. I, I don't know. I mean, it was okay. I want to, though, just, you know, you did say, Bridge, it's only an hour and 20 <laughs> minutes. And it I, is. I, I have to tell you, I fell asleep Did you still- <laughs> two times, so I watched this movie over three days. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, oh, it's God. been a tiring week, as I told you, you know. But it's wow. your turn to do the synopsis. Should I kick you off? Yeah. Well, well, it's an easy one, because Marnie and her siblings return with their grandmother to Halloween Town. <laughs> They return? It's their first time there. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, I'll that's take what it. it says. I'll take it. All right? I'll take it. That was great uh, bridge. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. okay, listeners. Yes, so we have three siblings. <laughs> We have older sister Marnie. Marnie is turning 13, I yes, believe. Just turned 13. That's kind of a plot point. A little bit, maybe. Then she has middle child uh Dylan, and he's a trip. And then the younger sister is Sophie. So they're all different personalities. Marnie is a little bit like Katie, guys. Marnie likes the spoops. I just have weird taste. Mar- <laughs> Halloween is, like, made for her. Is that, like, hieroglyphics from ancient Egypt? I was like, wait a second. Who read my diary? Get out. Is this the Book of the Dead? I have that in my bedroom. (laughs) She's like, Grandma, you brought up Pentagram? What a party. I'm like, holy shit. Anywho, that's Marnie, and Marnie just wants to celebrate Halloween, and her mom is like, absolutely fucking not. We don't talk about Halloween. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Halloween. We don't talk about any of that shit here. Uh, There's no reason why. Weird. But there is a reason, but we don't know the reason. So that's weird. And then middle child Dylan's like, I don't care. Let's read books. And then the youngest one is Sophie. And like, I don't know. I guess she's kind of normal. She's like eight, right? Or younger, yeah. maybe six. She's a little gal. Yeah. But anyway, the plot kicks off when grandma comes. Grandma is Debbie Reynolds. <sighs> Princess Leia's mom. Welcome, welcome. Here we are. I, w- I would have loved, I mean, no offense to our own grandmothers, but this is a pretty cool grandmother. She is cool grandma. She brings some candy and Halloween costumes because she's like, I know your night's gonna suck, so grandma's here. <laughs> Like, coolest grandma ever. <laughs> Rolls up unannounced, brings treats. Like, what a day. It's just a good time for all. And they're like, Grandma, we haven't seen you in so long. And she's like, yep, I won't say why. And you're like, but okay, maybe we'll find out. Who knows? And then the mom's like, how fucking dare you show up in my house? But also, I love you, Mom. But also, get the fuck out of my house. And you're like, whoa, the family therapy that is needed is uh, blaring. <laughs> Um, yes. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, we need a lot of that. So they get in a fight, and then there's exposition that the kids are not supposed to hear, but Marnie hears, which is basically Grandma being like, "Anywho, I'm a witch, and Marnie's got to do her witch training because she's gonna turn 13, and if she doesn't do it before she turns 13, then she's not a witch, and that sucks." And then the mom's like, "Fucking cool. I'm trying to be boring, so let's do it." And Grandma's like, "God, you're the worst." And then Grandma leaves and goes on a magic school bus, and the kids follow her. <laughs> and it's all normal and not hard to do, guys. Okay? It's, it's fine. It's incredible. It's normal. And they go to Halloween Town. Halloween Town. How do I describe Halloween Town? Halloween Town. It's like I... the WB lot when I went there for a tour. <laughs> okay, okay. I actually thought this is the most amount of extras. Mm-hmm. Waiting to play real movies. Mm. Like, that was the vibe. Oh, <laughs> they're like, oh, we're not filming our scene in that other movie for a while, so we're just going to stand we're in the just gonna background walk around in Halloween this Town. town. <laughs> yeah, until we're called on set. Wow, oh, I hope that's go. exactly what happened, because <laughs> <laughs> some of those costumes were uh, fucking weird. Some of them just looked like people, and you're like, do you... Are you lost in Halloween Town too? Anyway, Halloween Town is like monsters and everyone's in a party city costume, but it's not a costume. That's what they really are. <laughs> and the kids are not scared and they're like, this is cool. And they're like, let's go find grandma. And they meet some characters, I suppose. Um, the first being the mayor. <sighs> 
Calabar. Yes. Calabar. Maybe she calls him Chocolate Bar because Calabar. (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) I just made a connection. I'm sorry. Incredible. I'm sorry. I got distracted. (laughs) Anyway, Calabar's the mayor and he's a warlock and he's just like doesn't have great vibes. He's, like, too nice. You used to date the mom. You don't want to trust creepy men like that, guys. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Oh. Um, and, yeah, and then Grandma's also like, yo, some shit's going down in Halloween Town, but nobody cares except me, and all the people are going missing and turning into, like, scary shit. And everyone's like, chill out, Grandma. But she doesn't. And then the kids are like, we're gonna help Grandma. So it's now they go to Grandma's, and Grandma is totes cool that they ran away from home and rode a bus, didn't pay money, not supporting Halloween town's economy just pointing it out okay so now Typical we're on mortals coming just in muggle, bunch muggle. of bullshit up in here the privilege is out of control um and then it just kind of turns into fun times with grandma and halloween town for a little bit and then grandma oh mom comes mom's like what the fuck and then grandma's like it's cool but then it's not cool because mom and grandma get like frozen by the bad guy and then the children are like we'll save the day that was my favorite part. That, I mean, it's it really... pretty cool. I was like, okay, they have a book that's like, gives directions. I was like, so. what are they going to do? But <laughs> this was also like the third day I was trying to watch this movie, you know? I was like, what like, are oh, they going to do? Wo- just woke up. What's happening? <laughs> What's they going to do? So the kids got to go. It's um, shenanigans. And they they save the day. Incre- uh, incredible. Incredible. And there's a reveal that the creepy mare was actually the bad guy. Mm-mm. So you guys surprised? Can't trust those politicians. Anybody surprised? I know. I was like, this isn't even a metaphor. This is just facts. All right. I'm out of here. Do you think like in the future we should take a poll and whoever like really doesn't want to be the politician, we should be like, you won. Yeah. And then they do it. And that's, that's how we that's how we change the country. What do you I think? I love how some towns in our country have like dogs for mayors. And I was like, <laughs> I fucking love that. They don't get anything done. Or maybe they do. Maybe they figure out a way for the mayor to like make decisions that's a dog. But I just like love that. So I'm on board. That's Halloween Town. Wow. Yeah. It was uh it was a ride. It was a ride. <laughs> I don't think that people should go into this not realizing it's a Disney TV movie. Yeah, made for TV. Mm. And I read that the budget was supposed to be thirty million, and then they only ended up having four. I was gonna say, where did the money go? All right, (laughs) this is some money laundering scheme. They put all that money in the pumpkin. Okay, just go to Debbie Reynolds as Princess Leia's mom. Honestly, which everyone on set talked about how she was the best, the best, most amazing magical person i I think i was surprised at the plot because in the beginning it does come off very disney Mm -hmm. it comes off like sorry you just can't go out for halloween you can't go trick-or-treat that's just how it is that's how it is and we're only going to talk about it on the day and night of halloween and uh never before or after (laughs) I was like, this feels like a weird, like, religious house or something. I don't know what's oh, happening. Not bad. I don't, I didn't know what was happening. Wait. And it was kind of slow. And then Debbie Reynolds comes and things gets better. Um, what, yes. Kate? You what just happened? reminded me that I got a letter in the mail today that was addressed to me. Oh, oh. And my address, like, handwritten. And it had, like, a normal person stamp. And I kid you not, it was like, join our Bible study group, Katie. And I was like, who the fuck sent this? And they didn't sign their name. And I was like, what's this? How do you know? where to go for the bible study they gave me a business card and a website it was like get to this website about our bible study and i was like absolutely not how dare you so now i think i have to stage my house again do you think they saw bear and moon <laughs> and they're like that what? woman needs the bible she needs she needs jesus probably <laughs> <laughs> i ain't gonna get him i'm busy watching halloween town <laughs> yeah so it's weird and i love how marnie has like her friends there also and I was like yo friends you're missing out on like your trick or treating time like it's a no go girls get out there candy's on the move you know you brought up goosebumps but I felt it was very are you afraid of the dark I've also been rewatching that <laughs> Katie you know sorry not I don't awesome. I mean I don't think you should it's it's a good time but the big bold letters that are like Ooh-hoo. 
Ooh, and they oh, blow yeah. out the candle, and then it's like the smoky, the Halloween whole town. zoom into the candle and the pumpkin. Oh. I was like foreshadowing in your face. I mean, that is what Halloween does, but I don't think anyone dies in this movie. Is it that cow guy in the movie theater? Do we see him again? Or is he dead? He went into some magical like, universe. I think he's. I think he's done though. He's done. All right, one that death. Was messed up. All right. Well, yeah. I guess in theory, maybe he came back. We don't know, Kate. Nobody knows. He had to go to film his other movie, so he couldn't stick around. But right away. So first of all, when you told me about this film, I watched the trailer and. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe there's a trailer. That's it's amazing. it's so so bad. It's actually uh, about the littlest kid, Sophie. With the cookie flying, what? and I'm like, this didn't tell me anything about the movie. Flies at the trailer. <laughs> I, it, it's not. It should be about Marnie. But once you start playing the movie, you're kind of like, all right, I get the vibe. It's very cheese, cheese to cheese to the cheese balls. Marnie is yelling at her mom I, and saying, "I, I, I want to go to a party tonight." I was like, "Bitch, it's nighttime. When the parties start an hour ago, you're not gonna make it. Your friends <laughs> missing out on trick or treating, they're not gonna make it. Nobody's getting candy." All right. It could be 6 p.m., okay? I don't know. She's 13. Let her live a little. She's not allowed to live, Bridge. <laughs> she used to sit on the couch. Uh, she did make a funny joke where she was like, we're all just vegetables. And then she sat on the couch and she goes, look, I'm a potato. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I do appreciate the sass. I appreciate a little bit. I know you do. Is it I me? think you Sorry. have fabulous sass. Wow. But you don't have big sister energy, you know? That's no. like very, that's very like... Like the older child energy of like really attacking the mom. Yeah. However, I'll give you this. I don't know the mom's backstory because what happened in her past that made being a witch so bad? When we find out later, it's just she's like, your dad was a human, so you should be humans too. That doesn't make any sense. Why can't you? Yeah, I kind of wish I don't get was it. more like, What if something bad happened to her and you're like, I get it. Being a witch is hard. Well, she did date Calabar and like that is true traumatic and i too would want to distance myself from that jabroni but then we should have known about the jabroni <laughs> sorry that's a great um, that's a great we should bring back jabroni it's back baby Woo! it never left we brought, it never left my jabroni. vocab i don't know what you mean i'm in the midwest um, i'm out of the loop i do wish they had jagrassi level drama of the mom being like okay guys real talk your dad was murdered by yes! halloween town people or something or, or the brother. The brother's like, listen, you know why mom gets upset when you talk about this stuff is, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know but... dad was run over by a witch on a broom, Marnie. Gosh, also, so insensitive. Why, why can't they talk about their dad? That seems sad. I don't know. Maybe he died via pumpkin. <laughs> Stupid. It's too much. <laughs> I don't know. The, the dialogue was pretty cheese balls, though. The the brother was a lot. Yeah. And then he, he was just there me. to, like, make fun of. And I was like, okay. <laughs> he reminded me of the kid in Jurassic Park. Oh, not Timmy. Not yes. that. He reminded oh, me of Timmy just oh. for the lines. He looked like Timmy. He had the glasses. He was wow. supposed to be smart. I fucking wish Dylan got electrocuted on a fence in this movie. <laughs> Would have elevated it Although so his, much. His hands were very electrocuty. But yes, that was that's true. You know, I muscled through the no <laughs> Halloween. You can't do anything. And I'm trying to eat cookies, but I'm actually a witch. And the mom pretends. And actually, these kids very much listen to their mom, despite she explains nothing, which in 1998, I understand that's the parenting style. In 2023, you tell your kids, God damn everything, you explain it. There's <laughs> Montessori and gentle parenting, and we're explaining fucking everything, okay? There's Google, I don't even know. You gotta give a speech and a monologue about why they can't have a cookie before dinner. <laughs> Absolutely, okay. it's so tiring. Oy. But when grandma shows up, I'm like, thank the Lord Jesus, we're having some fun again. Because it was a down until she got there in my she opinion she has the fucking coolest Mary Poppins mm. remote control wait it's it's own consciousness I'm gonna tell you right now suitcase bag I mom, want it mom who's had, selling that mom has this um do I'm you, sorry do mom has remember? a conscious thinking suitcase <laughs> bag yes. with Mary yes. Poppins okay yes. great <laughs> it, it, she absolutely does whenever <laughs> we would go on the one place we went to vac- 
vacation, which we've talked about this, listeners. Oh. Longtime listeners know this. The matching suitcases. Yeah. And none of us had suitcases because as a family, we went nowhere. And yep. then the one time a year, she would take her little tiny body up to the attic and take <laughs> giant suitcases she down for everybody. That. It's yeah. incredible. She literally does all the work in the house. And she takes down these matching suitcases. And if you were, if you were the last to ask for the suitcase and shit was bad because other things were piled in, you got that bag. Did you yes. ever get that bag? I feel like it looked maybe, just like it. Maybe once or twice. It did look, it's the same pattern. It just. The thickness <sighs> is like a rug. They took a rug, yes. sewed it into a bag. <laughs> That's what mom had, and that's what Debbie Reynolds had. But the coolest part about Debbie Reynolds is this Mary Poppins. She opens it, rooms come out, costumes, it's so candy, none of them party. It, by the way, so like, cool. nobody's like, Grandma, how did you fit eighty things in this little bag? Actually, Dylan questions it, but everyone's Please. like, "Fuck off, Dylan! You're the middle child. We're gonna and, ignore you." And did we learn that she can only come to the mortal world once a year on Halloween? I feel like yeah, but and they, I feel like they only see Grandma once a year that sucks i feel like that's a little fuck like who made that rule why is that's, that a that's, halloween I town mean, halloween rule? town's gotta like get it together that bus driver is definitely not doing enough stops you know what they need they need a donnie darko science lesson on wormholes <laughs> Fix this whole problem right up. Button it up. I'm How many saying. Halloweens could there be? A lot. A lot of Halloween. Frank Halloween. the Bunny. You didn't get the candy like? You do it again. Do it again. Go back. Yeah. Jet engine comes. Do it again. Um, Marnie says a line, which again resonated with me, where she says, nobody appreciates all this weird stuff <sighs> but me. And I was like, mm-hmm, girl. That was you. you. Just wait till you discover Here's the X-Files, the thing, Marnie. Growing up with you, Kate, you were not like, I know you had your emo phases and your eyewear black and... <laughs> black makeup faces but you did you were more of the person that would carry around like the lord of the rings book i was you were more all of eighth grade that, actually. you were more that than i'm only into spooks you were more like fantasy yeah that was i have the like broad interests but we did live <laughs> next to a graveyard that i mm. hung out in sometimes i would drink beers in but you know oh no, bridge next to dancing jesus i'm offended check it out if you listeners. guys don't know what that is go look it up look, look it up you That's can find out where you used to live our location new jersey weird. okay <laughs> So, so I just wrote a note saying, wow, these people need to get on Maury or something. <laughs> because grandma and mom are just very, very angry and just they're attacking, passive aggressive. Angry. It's not working. I'm on grandma's side. I Why mean, can't yeah. you tell your 13-year-old daughter, yo, girl, you're a witch. Mm-hmm. You got witch powers. I'm going to tell you, though, being a witch isn't that so, isn't great. Because they had the most beautiful bonding moment at the end of the film. Oh, they did. Could have just talked about it earlier. Instead, they're like screaming at each other, and grandma's like, I don't understand why you like don't move forward with their heritage. I'm the coolest mother ever. Why yeah. don't you want to be a witch? I didn't get the motivation. I didn't get it. They missed the plot. They missed the plot there. The rest of the plot, great. She can literally turn fried chicken into a chicken. <sighs> Who wouldn't want that? That is so fun. That's amazing. You don't ever have to go to KFC again. You got Well, wow. I guess you gotta get, I don't know. But I think it would be cool is the moral of the story. Um, And at one point, the kids are like, Grandma, read us a story. And like, even 13 year old Marnie's like, fucking read me a story. I'm ready. And I was like, damn, this is definitely before social media. Wow. Mm. And she reads a story that's literally about Halloween Town. <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck authored this book? Because it's they're a real snitch. book. It's they're a real snitch. book. They're snitching. I gotta go. Do you know that you could probably find that book? I bet that's what this was based on. This must have been some like weird definitely. children's book that someone's like, it's perfect. It's the original movie. Let's it, do it. I think too, here's the thing with grandma. She definitely towed the line. You know, she's like, I'm going to yeah. tell him, but I'm not going to tell him. But also, like, your mom's wrong. But you know what? You like spooky stuff. And here I am, and you're special. Okay. The literal part in the book where the girl goes, look, it's a picture of Marnie. And the grandma's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, Wait. I was like, who wrote this book? Grandma, did you do this? Then did you write a book for this occasion? Grandma. The buzzkill mom comes in, squashes it, and grandma's gotta go. She's literally like, Grandma, don't miss your bus. Get the Damn, fuck out. Damn, that's cold. Once a year, you come visit for like what felt like 25 minutes? Yep. Ouch. Yeah. She doesn't even get an Uber. She gotta bus it. She, she had to walk to the bus stop. She did. Now, she fucking did. Mm-hmm. Gets a little crazy here because these kids are like, fuck 
this shit. I'm following grandma. She's got this weird ass bag. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. There could be a doggy in that. Let's figure it out. And then a bus stop pops up out of nowhere. A bus, a flying bus comes. Magic school And they're bus like, too. this is the coolest thing ever. And you know, when we think of our grandmas, don't think this, I don't think they got this in them. I don't think so. Not so much. I'm gonna Not say so no much. to that. Nana would have been like, I don't need the bus. I will jog. And we'd oh, be like, God. damn it, Nana. <laughs> now we gotta follow you. This sucks. <laughs> uh, she's like have a banana <laughs> uh, question i think you and i should aspire to be this type of grandma with our trips to the witch store obviously we uh, have to find our flying it. bus we gotta get our broom like we're there i will bring a bag full of candy and pentagrams and maybe i'll write my own book and secretly have you draw cartoon faces of the grandchildren and Perfect. pretend that i didn't realize that and we'll always put on halloween town but never explain it <laughs> kids will be like why do we have those to watch this you'll never know i love figure that. it out chocolate bar i love okay? that yep. the bus did give me that um what's that crazy science teacher with the magical bus magic school bus <laughs> okay is that miss frizzle miss frizzle yeah, okay so that Fucking is exact wish. all of a sudden the people look normal the bus goes down some you know donnie darko wormhole <laughs> and then all the people on the bus turn into like weird monsters the kids are not afraid yeah yeah, everyone's real chill about it. Why are they so like, well, I guess Frankenstein just happens to take this bus too. <laughs> There's literally like, a. it looked like a gremlin, like straight out of gremlins was like, I raised a demon from the underworld. And they're all like, that's silly. And I was like, is it? Or should we worry? I don't know. If I was Sophie the youngest, I would have tears. I would have tears. I'd say I'm, I'm getting off this bus. I don't I'm know where the fuck Sophie was, by the way, because we don't know that she's on the bus. That's true. We just think that's it's true. Marty and Dylan and I was like did Sophie hide in grandma's bag I gotta go that's true um, she like on the wheel ouch <laughs> they literally the bus parks it's daytime everybody gets off Marnie and Dylan sneak off and then Marnie's like oh it's clearly Halloween town <laughs> Dylan and then Sophie's just standing there like hey guys I'm six I'm here too and I was like damn Sophie you're the scariest of everyone I, I gotta think. say I thought the seek so I thought that the real plot point was Sophie had all the powers and she Marnie kind of did like, it. seems like she does so i don't know and she's she like remembers the spell later and marnie like doesn't so i don't know bridge like if i have to give a grade yeah. i mean sophie's like coming out top right. you know it's really giving me a lead of their own where dottie's got all the passion <laughs> oh geez but none of or all the talent none of the passion kids mm. got all the passion none of the talent yeah that's the vibe well. but somehow marnie got it together because she followed directions got the spell and was like yippee kaya i'm the oldest sister i'll figure it out she did she did um and so they all like shack up and they're like oh my god now it's the three of us we gotta find grandma let's go find fucking grandma and this is where they meet calabar who is a creepy man everyone i don't know why we but you know tolerate that let's not it. anymore well no okay i agree obviously with that but in the film he comes off more goofy he comes off more like hey kids welcome to, i'm the mayor welcome to halloween town i didn't get this like, hey kids, come to my back. No, alley. it wasn't like I live in the garbage can. But it's in 1998. Alleyway. Like things were so obvious back then. He just was like a Willy Wonka knockoff. Like he kept trying to give him weird candy from his like ear and his pants, and I don't like it. And it's just <laughs> a metaphor. We gotta wake up and look for. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but thank God. And, and by the way, he's like, oh, you're like that. At least kids. Cool. I dated her. And they're all like, yeah, that's great. And he's like, oh, I mean, anyway, here, take this taxi cab to grandma's. Bridge the taxi cab driver was a skeleton. <laughs> That was a robot. <laughs> and Dylan goes, is it legal to drive with no eyeballs? Like, you know what that, is? <laughs> that is a good question. And we'll never get it answered. I so. do like him. He's funny. That was a robot. And now knowing wow. their budget, I'm afraid most of the money went to the <laughs> robot taxi driver. <laughs> it reminded me of um, Ghostbusters because there's like a skeleton cab driver. And that that guy was a little scary, though. And this guy was more like, I'm going to make bad puns. Hilarious. The whole ride. The whole ride. Like, yeah, 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 sure. I, but, you know, he got them to where they needed to go. He and did. I read. So, Debbie Reynolds, Grandma's house. Grandma. Apparently, you could go to Oregon and rent that B&B. What? 
Yes. Yep. Can um, I microwave meat by double, double, boil and trouble in the microwave? Yes, you can. Wow. Here's what I'm thinking we do. We've always talked about doing a Portlandia trip. Oh, where the dream we of the go, 90s is we, alive in Portland. Where, where we dress Sorry. and go and find Fred Armisen and all that. Oh and I God. think we should also add this into our tour. Take notes. Thank you. I'm just doing geography in my head. Um, <laughs> those are the same state. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We gotta get I'm you sorry. a book. Google don't Maps. try. I don't want Something. any maps. Don't give me them. Hey, you're so smart. There's so many want... smart things in that brain. There's just no space for what the. What happened? To There's geography. no space for those things. This is so cool. Grandma's like, kids, what's up? Doesn't yeah. ask. Doesn't get mad. Yeah, she's like, hey she's guys, like, what a normal day. That's what I'm day. talking about. My awesome Halloween Town book spell worked. Burr, 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 burr. Oh my god. Yeah, she's like, come on in, kids. Look at my witch shit. By the way, I'm a witch. I hope you're no one's traumatized. LOL, LOL, LOL. Let's do it. They roll with it. Everybody rolls with it. Marnie's like, I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool if you're going to find out your grandma's a witch. Pretty cool. So she's doing this spell because she's like, it's going to defeat the evil. I don't know what the evil is, but it's bad. And anyway, let's do it. And then it doesn't work. So then she's like, okay, let's go to town. Just what? Why did they go to town? <laughs> this was uh, this was why I was confused. What's in because town? Because I think in theory she had to get all the other extra necessities for the spell. Oh, but oh. she doesn't describe that. And so no. when she and the mom gets frozen, and then Marnie's like, "I know what to do." I thought, "How do you know what to do? How do you know? How does she know?" But I think at this point it was because Debbie Reynolds told her. It's because of plot. Um, I thought yes. it was so she could go to town and be like, "Mayor, get your shit together. Where that is too. my taxpayer that dollars?" Too going that too who is fixing the shit that this too. is a bunch of bullshit there's a bunch of teenage like freaking hooligans out there main one being this kid luke that they call a wiener wow <laughs> that's like a curse word for disney holy shit luke luke had an arc and i hated it <laughs> I hated it. Luke, it was pretty bad. Luke helped say. the chocolate bar evil dude. <laughs> Yep, because he wanted to be handsome. And uh-huh. so when you meet Luke, he's handsome, which is like Jonathan Taylor Thomas handsome. So he's like, 12. Yeah. No one's handsome to me at this age. He's wearing um, a vest, guys. So it's a lot. you make your own decisions. Later, he has a moral crisis moment, realizes he shouldn't be helping Chocolate Bar, and <laughs> decides that it's not worth it, helps Marnie, becomes ugly later, then asks Marnie out and is like, you're so beautiful. I'm so ugly. You never liked me. I can't believe I was so vain. She kisses him. And then everything's fine i uh, i was exhausted well, the- i was exhausted with that storyline <laughs> luke i don't know i don't know I just, luke. I just love how he's literally 12 years old and all the adults in town are like oh god it's luke everybody watch <laughs> out i was like where's the police force i swear to god there's gotta really, be police here it gave me stand by me vibes with the older brother he was like oh my god yeah Dad. Did it. He's like, I got a knife. You're like, Luke, I'll shank you. Oh my god, very well. Just to story. be handsome, Luke. Luke. It'd be worth it. Get the vest off. There's okay? gonna be TikTok filters in the future. Nobody cares what you look like. It's Metaverse. So- Fucking true. Um, also, this is where Grandma sees her friend Harriet, who was just some fucking lady. I don't know. They talked about <laughs> some bullshit. Having a rough go of it. Am I <laughs> they right? They talked about some bullshit literally five minutes earlier, and life was good. And then she sees Harriet, and Harriet like screeches like a like a freaking cat at her, and she's got a scary face. And then Grandma, instead of chasing after her friend, Grandma turns around and goes, "Uh oh, better go tell the mayor about this shit." <laughs> 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 Please, what? And the mayor um, doesn't care. So welcome to politics, guys. Oh, I God. mean, he does do a redirect. He's like, listen, he really don't does. worry about this. He goes, don't tell anyone. Which again, don't. if the creepy guy tells you not to tell anyone, you better go tell everyone. We don't keep secrets in this house, Kate. No, we nope. don't. No, we do not. Not with chocolate bar. Mm-mm. No way. No, with chocolate bar when he takes it out of his pants. No. And you know, <laughs> he really does do This that. is the I moment that I think the mom shows up. Well, before mom shows up, they have a fun little scene 
scene where <gasps> grandma's like, I'm going to be grandma and buy my granddaughter shit. And she's getting a broom. She's Woo! getting a spray painted broom with a bird head on it. Let's do it. Wow. I have money when I'm an old lady because I just want to buy shit for my grandchildren. Would you buy your grandchild a flying broom? I think I would Absolutely. actually. So never mind. Absolutely. I already know the answer. You know, we do have a cool aunt who's a witch. We do. Shout out she's to Aunt Betty Ann. And Aunt oh Betty Ann definitely has a broom. And I bet if we said, could we fly in it? She'd be like, yeah, sure, whatever. She'd be in like, her like New York shit. accent. She'd be like, yeah. I'm from Queens, whatever. She's you my want godmother, broom? guys. It explains it all. Yep. Um, the flying okay, scene so... was cute and adorable. It was uplifting. It was cheesy. I it loved was it. It was screen. What do you get? It was perfect. Do? And then literally when they land is when mom's like, hey, guys. And you're like, ah! Mom, she's how many, pissed. How many bus routes are going to Halloween Town on this? Mom night? was pissed. I'd be pissed too if I had to get on a fucking bus through a wormhole. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. After I made chicken dinner, no. I'm just gonna say this once and just get out of the way. The mom doesn't look like the kids. No, it's weird. <laughs> Nobody looks alike. Nobody looks alike. And that's I fine. Know. You know, that's fine. But it's weird. It's weird vibes. You know what? She doesn't even look like Debbie Reynolds. I just, maybe it, she was a great character. I just didn't get it. Maybe it's magic. Bridge? I, I guess so. Yeah. She's so mad at grandma because she thinks, did you steal my children from, which I would be pissed. Did you steal my children from my house? That's a valid concern. I, I would think. be pissed Because grandma's got a bag that anybody could fit in. All right. We could live in there for days. So I would assume the same. So. Mom so, comes in and she's like, this is the Jerry Springer. I'm going to take you out. And grandma's like, oh, no, 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 no. You ain't a good mama. And you didn't want your goddamn kids. And they followed me. Yep. So if anyone should be pissed, it should be me. And you're not watching them. <laughs> I was like, good point. <laughs> That's fucking fair. And then mom's like, who gives a shit? We're getting back on a bus. I literally was just on a bus. There's a thousand buses, apparently. Here we go. Except there's not a thousand there's buses. There's not a bus. Because literally she's like, when's the next bus? And they're like, I don't know. I got Adam's family. What? Who are the two-headed sisters that uh, oh, dates Flora Fester? Oh, Flora and Fauna. What Flora a and Fauna. Their I cousins are the bus driver. Yeah. They don't know what's happening. It actually <laughs> hurt my head listening to them. But all we know is the bus <laughs> was broken down. <laughs> yeah, this is the part of the movie where we start to give more screen time to weird characters. <laughs> it's too much. And, yeah, and the extras uh, are like, do, 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 do. <laughs> it's my moment. I'm going to stop. I'm going to see the broom salesman. <laughs> that was that guy. I was like, he is working for the paycheck, honey. Oh, boy. The, the wolf, um, the werewolf hairdresser, oh, the, the, the out hairdresser. of control. It was so crazy. Out of control. Incredible. It was, uh, there's so much happening. I can't. But then she's like, fuck this. Let's go to the politicians. They fix things, right? I just want to, spoiler alert, he doesn't fix anything with the bus. So keep that in mind. God, 1998. We're not learning, people. We gotta, and we gotta find new ways. It's just more of a nightmare because she walks in and there's her <sighs> ex-boyfriend. Fuck that. I'm out. We gotta go. I turn I, on my heel and run. I, I cannot believe she dated Chocolate Bar. You know... And his entire hmm. plot to kill all of his people to then take over the humans is because she dumped him. Is that... Okay, but like, is that really... That was what he said! I know, but like... She dumped him for a human. But was he just being like a little bitch, baby? Because she was right in front of him? You know? I, I, I don't know. Kate, why would they say it? Seems extreme. Because honestly, she wasn't ever going to be at Halloween Town. So he was doing this plan for a while. And what? She was... I think she's just the straw that broke the chuckle bar is back oh, personally i could see that i could see that i like that so he basically was like i can't help let's hang out at halloween town and she's like absolutely not and then grandma gets bombarded by luke the town felon who's 12 <laughs> i suppose and he's like hey grandma you want to know who the bad guy is and she's like yeah i do and he goes he wants to reveal himself <laughs> And I hated that line. Ew. And she's like, show me him. And he's like, all right. Well, here's what's cool let's about Grandma. She's like, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Let's mm. do this. Grandma so could have been a Ghostbuster. She did not back wow. down. She's like, I don't care who this is. I'm a Cromwell witch, bitch. Yeah. She would have crossed the streams, I think. Definitely. She is like, fucking move, 12-year-old boy. Get me in this theater. It's a theater filled with like- Frozen people. Uh, they're not dead. They're, they're frozen. just like- Frozen. And there's cobwebs. But they were frozen How so long, there's cobwebs. How long were they frozen? <laughs> 
don't know, but they Where all is the police like... force in this town? Guys, like they were literally in the theater. Nobody looked in the theater. That was at on. least 50 missing people of the town. It's not but a I big guess town. Maybe people go to the mayor and the mayor's like, hee hee, it's me. I, I think that's what it is. Wow. It's me. Hi. This is like the faculty all over I'm again. the chocolate bar. It's me. It's exhausting. <laughs> it really is. And then the bad guy shows up and it's not chocolate bar. It looks like, I don't know what he looks like. He looks like a scarecrow, whatever shit. And then she's like, I'm going to like fight you. And then Luke is like a little bitch, and he's like, "I'm scared to go." You called him a scarecrow. I thought his face looked like a scarecrow. <laughs> what? You don't think so? <laughs> no. I thought it did. It okay, gave okay, keep going. Scarecrow vibes. <laughs> Okay. He didn't have straw. He didn't have straw. No crows. He kind of was like Dracula meets monster meets, you know, Wiccan. Yeah. Okay, keep going. All right. Then somehow mom and the children roll up to hell. Yeah, and I and think we need to interject the 1993 Three Ninjas, right? 1993. Mm. Villain. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 The incredible villain laughed in the 90s. Yeah. If people, if someone doesn't bring it back, we might lose it forever. It's incredible. Oh, not that. Yeah, he's really cheesy. And he just fucking freezes them. And then the children are like, no! And then the bad guy disappears. Because of I, light? Question mark? They open the back door. The light gets him. And he's like... <sighs> This is when I thought, what do these kids do? Because, like, they're a little mm. clueless. They don't got powers. Not good. This is not good. And I have not been paying attention because I've fallen asleep <laughs> a lot. What? <laughs> what are they going to do? And then Marnie's like, I got this. I've been studying my entire life for this moment. All one hour of my life We for need this. a bunch of werewolf hair. We yep. need a sweat of a ghost. We need a... Vampire fang? A vampire yeah. fang. I think that's it. Boil, boil, toil and trouble, bubble, bubble, toil and, and it's some ancient Sumerian, you know, demon spell. Uh, yeah, that's all you need. It's very simple, very simple. So they go to the werewolf hairdresser who takes his job very seriously, and I don't know. I think he's great. And also, there was a guy who was a bush, just a straight up bush, <laughs> getting his, his bush cut. And there's just too many jokes to make. So I I'm just sorry. feel like some creepy Disney person was like. <laughs> Let's put a bush in the <laughs> hairdresser. <laughs> and you're like, ew, I hate you. I mean, it's kind of funny, though. I hope you were fired. Um, oh, God. Um, so then they, yeah, they get hair from the werewolf. Then they go to what I assume is the Halloween Town local YMCA, <laughs> um, which is just the really sauna, bumping. The ghost sauna. It is bumping. There's a pool. There's workout classes. There's rec basketball. There is a sauna. Okay. The workout? class of some monster leotard lady if she was if that person does not capitalize on a youtube channel of teaching workout classes dressed as a monster in a leotard what are they even doing with their life i'm just saying it out monster or whatever they look like mom would have attended that class Absolutely. and been front row Absolutely. and just been like i don't care that she's like a cat monster because i get a good workout my heart so. rate is 160 the entire time bridget <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's that. And uh so they gotta get ghost sweat. And thank God a ghost goes in a sauna. I, I, don't. I don't think Casper no one would agree with the physics, but here Nobody we are. knows what's happening. I don't but we get know. it. This is fun though that the kids are working together because Dylan's like, I don't believe it. And Marty's like, Well, you saw her too. Our mom and grandma got frozen, so get on board, you little shit. Yeah. <laughs> and Sophie's like, She's got a point. I'm I'm the strongest witch in all the land. She and they figure it out, Kate. They the do. The vampire tooth was sneaky. She had somehow became a dental assistant. We that don't ask sneaky. questions, Bridge, in Halloween Town. All right, we all just right. well, here accept we are. and move on. Uh, yeah, and then Marnie doesn't remember the spell. And then Sophie, who is six or seven or eight, used a mnemonic device <laughs> to remember the spell. This girl's going to get into Harvard when she's 10. I got I just, I'm just saying. Magic or she, no magic. Where did she gonna be end there. up? Wow, oh, wow. She really was Mara Wilson, like knockoff. Mara was busy That's with amazing. other stuff. 
And yeah, so what they did was they made like this. What the fuck? I don't even know what you call it. It looked like a looked like one of those things you buy at Six Flags. That's like twenty dollars. That just spins and has a light for kids. It was Merlin's talent. All right, that's definitely more oh, serious okay. than how I just described <laughs> okay. it. I mean, so yeah, that. Um, and it just I don't know. It unfreezes Grandma and Mom, and then they're like, "Yay, we did it! Life is good again." It's pretty Hooray. cool. Yeah. Oh no, that's not what happens at all. I well, lied. No, no, no. You're right that they they have to light it up to get mom and grandma they gotta light up the pumpkin they gotta they gotta light up the pumpkin yeah but they do wake up mom and grandma but that's after they get attacked by chocolate bar by chocolate bar yeah chocolate bar and chocolate bar is bad guy he's bad guy but i don't know how marnie figures this out but she's like what is wrong with halloween town it's the pumpkin it's the pumpkin that's not lit yeah i'm this is a clarice starling level (laughs) garage code puzzle i'm never finding out by the way my references are on fire today i really do feel like i I really feel like my first choices would have been like okay def gonna put the thing in the theater nope that's not def gonna put it at the bus nope that didn't work definitely Um, at the broom plate nope 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 uh try again uh call phone the moon moonlight moonlight Mm. moonlight um yeah. Clock tower yeah, is I don't if know. it's back she, to the future. I don't know. They, they fucking figured it out quick. And then Luke is like, hey, Marty, I'm sorry I ruined your life. Anyway, I'll help now. And she's like, whatever, bitch. Put on my cape and go be the switcheroo. And it kind of works because Marnie gets the pumpkin. But then literally Galbar like beans her with magic, I guess. And she looks like she's dead. And then she's just laying on the pumpkin weirdly. And I was like, uh. It was it was awkward. And here's the thing. When Luke was like, I'll help you. Don't put the light in the pumpkin. He's going to come and catch you. But then he reveals himself early, right? He really does. And he's like, hey, everyone, I'm the mayor, but I'm also terrorizing the town. And all the extras are like, oh, is is this the film we're in? Or, uh, (laughs) okay. And so they pay attention. (laughs) When she looks almost dead, as you say, she gets this little, like, (gasps) gasp to somehow drop Merlin's town. Yeah, Towson. Right in there, and Ooh. then the whole town goes. <laughs> Did have some magic sister act singing. Yep, incredible. Grandma, mom, mom and that's show when up. mom and grandma get out of the cobwebs. Yes. All, all of the frozen people wake up. They look incredible. Except like that dead I mean, cow guy. The yeah. most incredible skin routine. Mm. They show up, and Debbie Reynolds is like, "You motherfucker, get out of here, chocolate bar." Do you and know then how they, they have to like fight him? Do you know how they defeat Chocolate Bar Bridge? They hold hands and do it together. They hold hands and they hum. Oh. They harmonize. <laughs> they form an acapella group. <laughs> they appear in Pitch Perfect. Me, 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 me. <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> and they defeat Chocolate Bar. And it just is like really beautiful. It family, is beautiful. I gotta say. And it they kill beautiful. him. And everybody apologized. Everybody's like, Grandma, you're right. I should let him be a witch. Damn, Grandma. You wow. know, I'm so sorry. I should have let you have your witch powers, Marnie. You know, I everything I hoped you would be as a child, as my child. I'm so Aww. lucky to have you. I mean, That's the Disney sweet. moment it was a tearful moment. It does get ruined when Marnie's like, Oh no, Luke. And I was like, Who the fuck? cares about I, Luke. I don't care He's about Luke. A felon. Get out of here. I, I don't care about Luke, but somehow we have to kiss him because he's ugly. Ugly. I was so mad that Marnie <laughs> was this badass 13 year old and at the end of the movie because it's Disney, we gotta kiss some boy. Yeah. Way to ruin it, Disney. It's a bunch of bullshit. Why can't Marnie just fly in her broom? Yeah. And live Why? her life. She's 13. Why do we have to kiss a boy? We don't, actually. <sighs> also, then the mom goes, hey, grandma, I think you should come live with us now. And I literally was like, you're going to leave your mansion, Grandma? <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, and Not all that. your friends and like your cool witch stuff. And But I guess she could still be like a witch with humans. Uh, she can, but like... I, I don't know. Uh, there's no pumpkins in the square. I don't know, Bridge. But I guess that's what we do. And also Luke was the bus driver at the end of the movie and I screamed, what's going on? And then the movie ended. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I think I turned it it off by that point. But we did it, Kate. We did it. We did it. (laughs) Woo! I 
mean, I don't know. Would you? <sighs> this was your first watch. Would you ever uh, watch it again? Watch or don't watch? <sighs> Maybe, maybe I tell you people know, like, I feel go like for you got it. A, you got a good excuse because you got Kate, and maybe yeah. when she's older, be like, hey, you want to see some kind of kooky? Yeah, you, you want to see this, this like silly, silly, silly. You want to have a fever dream while I secretly pop an edible? Definitely and watch this. <laughs> Let's do depends it. On her. Depends. I'll be like James. Can you also watch her while I do this? <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. how about you? Would you, would you pop this on? Would you be like, you know what? It's 2024. I'm going to put on Halloween Town. I don't know where. I mean, so it is on Disney Plus, which means I don't have to pay extra. I feel like it's one that if I ever were to pop it on, it's going to be on in the background, background. when I'm putting up indoor Halloween decorations. Okay, that's fun. I like yeah. that. Traditionally, just, it's a great tradition film. Yeah, just like, you know, something. Okay, I like, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's I agree. Good. I agree. <gasps> so yeah chuck a bar what are you gonna do i just i can't hold it in anymore i have the next pick Woo! kate it's the final spooky movie yeah! we are absolutely skipping the nostalgia piece bye to there's we're, no ta- good. we're taking yeah. a spooky break. This is a film that... So dad used to make me watch this a lot. It better not be and The Exorcist or I gotta go. No, 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 no. Oh, who? We're gonna... And I'm gonna see if he did this to you. Like, did this cross through our... Because you and I have an age gap. And sometimes yeah. things that dad does with me, he wouldn't do with you. And so I'm intrigued if this was the case. Okay. This is from 1974. It's okay. described as a, so typical, American. I don't even know why we say what? it anymore. Comedy horror film. Now, when I say who it's directed by, you might know. Okay. Mel Brooks. <gasps> oh, I know Put it. the candle, candle back. back. <laughs> Young Frankenstein. <Yes. gasps> Oh my god. Is this one of my most epic picks ever? Oh my god. Ah! Wait, I am not even kidding. I'm having such a fucking flashback. I really, (laughs) really, really remember that the very first time we were doing October for the podcast ever, this was one that I was gonna recommend. I think I was like between this and another one. And then we, you know, we didn't end up doing it. But oh my god, I love Young Frankenstein. What's that Cl- Cloris Leachman's character? Every time they say their name, some like horse whinnies and the lightning strikes. <laughs> That's right. Ah, That's it's so right. random. This is like the OG scary movie. This is OG scary movie. This is funny. Mel oh Brooks. God. So I good. don't know if 1974, I don't know if this aged well. We're going to find out. And Madeline we'll Kahn's let you know. <gasps> oh, God. It's just, I can't wait. I'm so, so excited. This I was the it, original scary movie. It Mel really Brooks's was. Take on things. I don't know. I wonder if this was before or after Blazing Saddles. Don't know. Because he's like all the. Oh. So dad would make you watch spooks. this, right? Because I like, did definitely watch this with he Dad, made us point. watch this over and <laughs> over and over again because that in, right. like in our family, whoever runs the remote runs the show and dad yeah. ran the kitchen. LOL. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I well, might have to get a dad quote. I think you absolutely should. And oh I'm pretty proud of my spooks. I love it. That's a great pick, Bridge. I'm excited. Thank you. I was Ooh. pretty proud of that one. Well, Bridge, Kate, I just want to say, yes, if... Let's see. Let's see. If I want, it's something, something about Kate is a witch. I'm going to just help Kate be a witch, I think. Okay. I was okay. going to connect it to being Debbie Reynolds and maybe okay. someone gets frozen, but I just think it's better if I come okay. out clean. Okay. I'm going to come over with pentagrams and candy <laughs> okay. and, you know, hieroglyphics. It's all normal. And I'm just going to plant the seed and okay. tell her she's a witch. And we're just going to do it that way. Yeah. Excellent. Because I love her and I love you. Wow. That sounds incredible. Yeah. Kate, if Bridge. mom is like, you need to borrow a suitcase to go oh, on vacation, God, <laughs> and she pulls out her rug that's no. zipped up like a bag, Oh no! I'm going to take it to the witch's store beforehand, make them do a spell, and then have it secretly follow you everywhere so you have a magical witch bag. Thank fucking God, because <laughs> I'm not trying to carry that shit. It's got no wheels, it's so you guys. It's so it's heavy. the heaviest thing in the world. No matter you what you know. put in there, it's 80 pounds. Wow. Oh, I love that. Well, and listeners, if you also love uh, um, smart travel items, what, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Convenient travel items? 
you know, bags that move on their own. If you like that. And if you think that, you know, Chaka Bar, he just like really needed to be exposed for his war crimes, kicked out of <laughs> office for sure. <laughs> Who will be the new mayor? We don't know. A dog. I'll vote for the dog. <laughs> Personally. Definitely the dog or Marty. And if you think that everyone should have moved into Grandma's mansion instead of the other <laughs> way around, because what are we doing? How am I gonna microwave meat? You should write us a review. Woo! I ended on meat. Yep. Uh, yes, we love reviews. We love written reviews. You can review us on Apple Podcasts along with some other podcasting apps. We also have a website, sisterswhoseenit.com. On our website, you can request a movie. So there is a form you can fill out. We are done with October spoofs. But guys, spoops, are oh, okay. spoops can be any time of the year, right? Okay. Okay. Good. okay I think so. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have to be spoofs. You could do what every little heart desires. Fill oh. out the form. It goes on a list. And then we'll look at the list every now and then. And we'll do it eventually. Definitely. And Bridge, what else can they do on our website? They can buy us coffee. Woo! It's money. Woo! It's just giving, it's literally just giving us money. Woo! Which, which we appreciate because this, Woo! we do for free. <laughs> and Katie edits lots and lots of hours for free. For you, for entertainment. So you're thinking yeah. to yourself, you know what? I listen all the time, but I never actually give them money. Just give us some money. Okay. Just a little bit to fund the candy, you know? Just get the candy going. And then... <laughs> If you're thinking, well, maybe I'll buy stuff. Maybe I'll get my own witch's bag that follows me around. Well, we wow. definitely, definitely don't have that on our merchandise site, but I we can try. Fucking cool wish. Stuff. Check it out. Go buy it. The holidays are around the corner. Like, just see what you got. Go get it presents early for your friends. Love you. Yes. So check all that out, listeners. And we hope to hear from you. All right. Well, we'll see you all next week for Young Frankenstein. What's the, the putting on the Ritz, right? The song that he's like, putting on the Ritz. Hey. <laughs> see you there. Oh, love you. Bye bye. Love you. Bye bye. Bye bye, you witches. Bye, witches. Love you. Bye, witches. Bye, bitches. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning in to Sisters Who Seen It. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Check out our website at sisterswhoseenit.com, where you can email us, request movies to be reviewed, and keep up to date with all things sisters. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.